experiment to prepare a sample of soap. The manufacture of soap is one of the oldest chemical reactions known. Soap consists of the salts of long-chained carboxylic acids, for example, C17H35COONA, which is commonly called sodium stearate. Salts of long-chain carboxylic acids are made from fats or oils by the process of saponification. To prepare soap, one needs to start off with a substance that contains a naturally occurring ester, for example, cooking oil. Six centimeters cubed of sunflower oil have been placed in a 100 centimeters cubed quick fit flask. Three grams of sodium hydroxide pellets Thirty centimeters cubed of ethanol and some anti-bumping chips have also been added to the flask. The ethanol acts as a solvent for the oil. The reflux apparatus was set up as shown. Refluxing is a laboratory technique in which a liquid is boiled in a container that is attached to a condenser. Vapour from the boiling liquid condenses and flows back into the flask. Thus the liquid is kept at its boiling point without loss of vapour. This action prevents the flask boiling dry and allows organic reactions sufficient time to react. Heat the mixture over a water bath for about 30 minutes. If we lift the flask out of the boiling water for a moment, we can see the condensed ethanol falling back into the flask. That is, it is refluxing. After the end of the 30 minute period, saponification should be complete. Allow the apparatus to cool and rearrange it for distillation. We are now going to distill off most of the ethanol solvent. This will make it easier for us to isolate the soap. Gently heat the flask using the water bath. Continue heating until about 20 centimeters cube of ethanol has been collected. Allow the apparatus to cool for a few minutes. Using the clamp to hold the flask, quickly pour the hot reaction mixture into a beaker containing 100 centimeters cubed of concentrated brine. Brine is a solution of salt, NaCl, in water. Soap does not dissolve in salt solution, therefore the soap will be precipitated. The excess sodium hydroxide will dissolve in the salt solution. Filter off the soap using a filter funnel or a Buchner flask and filter paper.
Wash the soap with fresh salt solution to remove any sodium hydroxide still present. Using a spatula, take a sample of soap, add it to about half a test tube of deionized water. Shake the test tube. We observe the characteristic lather of soap. The soap you have made looks different than the soap you buy in a shop. This is because when soap is made commercially, other ingredients like perfumes and colouring agents are added to make it more attractive. This concludes the experiment.